When people think about food and San Francisco, they think about sourdough bread. That happened because of bakeries like Lara Beru. One of the first things that came to mind in San Francisco was La Rue Brie. La Rue Brie was a name at that time. French bakery on 3rd Avenue in the Richmond district. So I used to stop by the actual bakery and pick up warm loaves of bread. It was renowned in the city, right? It was at the chef's table, uh, all over Fisherman's yeah, Wharf, Aliotos. For natives, I, I mean, we're Larabrew people, Swan Oyster Depot, Freed Taylor and Freed Coffee. You can't touch them. I missed the bread. I'd, I've missed it for years. And I wanted to learn more about it. And a child was injured by a Larabaroo truck and they were suing for millions of dollars. Because of the newsworthiness of the large award as when it hit the papers, uh, their creditors suddenly called a number of the loans, weren't extending credit to them anymore, and that forced them to uh, close. Scott. Are you a hugger? Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a hugger. hugger. Oh, thank you. <gasps> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're the mystery man. And who would have thought that sourdough bread, which is such a San Francisco tradition, I mean, it's iconic in San Francisco, would have such a following in Austin, Texas. We are in your kitchen in Travassa, and yeah. you are going to take us through the process of making your mixing the sourdough. sourdough. Yeah. My father-in-law and David discussed that well, it'd be kind of nice to get sourdough started here in Portland. The Larabrew Bakery said yes, that they would give him a start, but that they would he would probably not be able to get the same flavor and the same kind of sourdough. Little pieces of history, I think they're important. And especially this one because it, sourdough bread is so synonymous with San Francisco. To find the bread, the flavor that epitomized that, um, I think that's important.